friends, this is the Mrs. Volfi from our Half Acre Homestead, and today we're canning this turkey. This turkey's been in my freezer since November. So I'm going to trust that I'll be able to get one if I need one for Christmas this year. So we're going to can this up. Now first things first, we have to debone it. All right, now it's been a while since I've done a turducken, so oh, it's still frozen on the inside, which is going to make it easier to debone. So let's just bring this guy right back like that. And just take that right out. Of ice in it. This is going into a bag in the freezer to make soup. I meant to put these in there. I'll, I'll put these in in a minute. Now, the only thing I would have done differently so far is I would have taken the breast meat off first is going out into the bag with that turkey. I think that will fit in uh, a jar. Yeah, that's going to fit in a quart jar, so I'll just leave that. I don't, uh, I don't do this very often, folks, but I didn't want to leave this sit in there for possibly another year. All right, thigh can go in a jar. Thigh can go in a jar. Now, the trick to these is Let me just check that jar again. No, you gotta be washed again.
Well, if I had my hammer handy, I would just chop these ends off, but that's not going to work. So we're just going to cut all the way around here like this. I'm going to cut straight down the bone. Like that. Fillet this open. And then I'm going to go all the way around this bone here. I hate deboning legs. Breasts are easier. All right. Now it should just pull all the way down and off. Okay, so now I just want to take these bits of ligament out. And there is a thought there is a drumstick. These also are going to go into the bag. Okay. I'll be right back as I go put these out in the bag with, with the rest of the turkey carcass. Here's our canner filled with the recommended amount of water and a splash of vinegar in the bottom. This canner is cold. Why? Because the meat going into the jars is cold. We're not going to break a jar this time. Here is five quart jars, corresponding lids in hot water, and the rings, and pickling salt. Here we go. Hey, Patty. Okay. Oh, and we almost forgot. And I got to get making some more. Is my little flannel rag dipped in vinegar. Okay. Let's start with the bony pieces because we're going into a large mouth jar. That thigh. Whoops. Skin and all, folks. And there. That's the whole leg. Half a teaspoon of salt. Always, always wipe your rims with a clean damp paper towel, especially if it's got vinegar on it. Lids are the only thing that are hot. And into the canner that goes. That's a wing or a thigh. Yeah, that's the thigh. Here is a whole turkey leg. What else can I get in here? And another piece of breast. Yes, I'm raw packing. Half a teaspoon of salt. Always, always wipe your rims with a clean, damp paper towel. And when you're using meat, always have vinegar in that water that you dampen your paper towel with. It just helps any fat from passing the barrier. Okay. Okay, here are our four quarts of raw packed turkey. They went into the canner cold, so the water is cold. Now I've turned the canner on. And we're going to we're going to wait for this to come up to temperature and start spouting a steady stream of steam. And when we're spouting a steady, st steady stream of steam and this bobble has popped up, we're going to set our timer for 10 minutes. This has been spouting a steady stream of steam and the bobble has been popped up and we've timed it for 10 minutes. Always allow your canner to vent for 10 minutes, folks. Venting the canner allows the steam to push the air out, thus creating the proper vacuum when we put the weight on. Now as soon as this jiggles, uh, we're going to start our timing. 75 minutes for pints, 90 minutes for quarts. There's our first vigorous jiggle. So now we're going to turn this down. My stove, for my stove, it's between maximum and medium. And then now we're going to set our timer. for 90 minutes. 
one hour and 30 minutes. Our timer has gone off, so I'm going to turn off the timer and turn off the canner. Letting it cool naturally. Remember, folks, don't jiggle the weight. Don't take the weight off. Don't wrap it depressurize. Don't cool it down. Don't wrap it in towels. Don't put it in cold water. Letting it cool naturally is part of the canning process. So there is four beautiful jars of turkey. And I promise one day very soon I will show you how to make a full-on turkey dinner with one of these jars. This is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead saying, that turkey was in my freezer since November. It was time. But I can still make turkey dinners out of this. And wait till you see what I do with the carcass. Take care. God bless. And remember, folks, if you're a home canner and you're not trying four jars canning lids, you are missing out. These are heavier than any other disposable lid on the market. They are a U.S. company, and if you order over $100, your shipping is free. Check in the description box below this video for a link to four jars canning lids and use the coupon code HALFACRE, all one word in capital letters, for 10% off. Check them out on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok for ideas and recipes. Four jars canning lids, you can't go wrong.